for most of my shoulder procedures, they're gonna be rotator cuff repairs, uh, shoulder stabilizations like labor repairs and some other sort of ligament reconstructions and complex stuff around the shoulder. You're gonna wake up with this sort of brace on. This is called a neutral external rotation brace. The reason I like this brace is because it keeps your arm straight out this way. And a lot of times after shoulder surgery, you're gonna get stiff and I'd rather you get stiff out here as opposed to stiff here, which is why it's very important to use this pillow for about five or six weeks after surgery. So what I'm gonna go over with right now is how to adjust this uh, brace, how to take it on and off, as well as what to do with your dressings after surgery. So we're gonna go over that right now. So <clears throat> the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the, uh, the brace off, and this can be a little bit confusing and daunting at first, but it's actually quite simple. Everything's been fit for you uh, in surgery, so you shouldn't have to do too many adjustments of this or the waist strap around your uh, midsection. So what we're gonna do first is, if you do have this around your thumb, which isn't required, we're gonna go ahead and take this off you probably will wake up with that knot on there. I don't like to put it there a lot of times because sometimes people can get some uh, irritation when they have their nerve block and their hand is numb. Go ahead, take this next one off. Just go ahead and tape it down there. And what we're gonna do is just unbuckle this, at which time this back strap can come off. And if we turn our model this way, we're gonna go ahead and unbuckle the waist strap here. And this will undo the entire brace. So we're gonna bring it back this way and the entire brace will come out and you just slide your arm out of the brace and you can let your arm hang down. Now it's important for things like rotator cuff repairs not to lift your elbow away from your body or forward this way. I don't want your rotator cuff uh, firing because it's gonna actually overpower the sutures. So at this point, you're gonna have your post-operative dressing. It looks like a big baby diaper with foam uh, tape on it, but it's pretty quite simple to take off. All you're gonna do is find a loose end on, like this and we're just gonna slowly peel it off. And sometimes this tape is a little bit uncomfortable to come off, so just go nice and slow. Uh, we're gonna take it all the way off, all the way around, and it should come off kinda all in one big piece like this, okay? And as this comes off, it should be just left with the steri strips, which is the area where I make my incisions for the camera. If you look at the dressing, this is the outside of the foam. Inside of here, you're gonna have some gauze and these big, thick absorbent pads in here that kind of absorb a lot of the fluid that comes out of the shoulder. If the dressing leaks on your night of surgery, you can change your dressing. Um, you can get these sort of gauze pads at the drugstore and just do that same thing I did. If it's leaking down your arm, leaking towards the inside of your chest or down the back, just go ahead, take it off, put more gauze, more tape, and it should slow down. After you take the dressings off, I want you to leave these steri strips in place, okay? These steri strips can stay on for one week. You can wash over them. You can shower with this the day after surgery. Um, if they're still draining a little bit of blood or fluid, go ahead and cover it up with some gauze, put some tape over it again. And for most shoulder procedures, I want you sleeping in your brace and having your brace on for the majority of the day. So after you take your dressings off, the easiest way to put your brace back on is to either have somebody hold it for you or to either rest this brace on the table. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna bend your, your elbow up and just slide your hand in all the way this way. And once it's in there, you can kind of hug the brace to your body and it'll stay there. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get this arm, reach behind your back, grab the waist strap, which is that one, come across and go ahead and buckle it in. You can see this way, she's buckling it in here. You may need some help with this at first to try to get it to buckle in. And once that's on there, just hold it tight to your body. And again, reach behind your back, grab the shoulder strap, try and flip it over yourself here, and you wanna hook it into this buckle here, okay? You'll get used to it after you do it two or three times. If your arm feels like it's coming out, you can undo this guy and put it here. And also, if you can see how her arm's almost a perpendicular to her body here. I don't want your arm kinda too far down like this. If the shoulder strap is too loose, you're gonna feel like this thing is sagging off your body. I don't want it like that. Go ahead and just undo this, pull it up, and get it so your arm feels like it's nice and tight here. Same thing goes for the waist strap. You shouldn't feel like the pillow is kinda shifting around in your body. You should feel nice and tight. So feel free to adjust the waist strap, which is on the back side here and controlled by Velcro. And you can cut this as needed. The same thing goes for this. So that's how you uh, take your uh, brace on and off. You have a little squeezy ball here to work out your hand if you want to do that. And if this stuff, if all these little straps over here bother you, don't feel like you need it. The main thing is that this pillow is keeping your arm at about a neutral position to let your rotator cuff feel in the right place. And so that kind of goes over everything you need to know about your uh, shoulder brace and your shoulder surgery. Again, steri strips stay on for one week and shower over them. We went over how to uh, adjust your brace here and that should be it. Uh, let us know if you have any questions.